It was supposed to be routine. Just another comet, tracing a quiet path from beyond our stars. But then, as three I Atlas approached the orbit of Mars, the observations turned strange. Its light was erratic, its speed unpredicted. Atlas defied every expectation, showing erratic shifts that hint at a fragile, breaking structure. Imagine an astronomer years from now recalling the moment. 3i Atlas approached Mars. At first, it seemed like another faint interstellar traveller, following in the footsteps of Oumuamua and Borisov. But then, the observations turned strange. Its brightness did not match expectations, and its path raised new doubts. This is not the kind of story researchers were expecting to tell. Today, you'll hear how this unusual chapter is unfolding, what the early data suggest, and why an object like this could hold lessons about the building blocks of other planetary systems. What we expected from 3i Atlas. What should an interstellar comet actually look like as it passes through a solar system? That is the basic question astronomers carried into their observations of 3i Atlas. In theory, a comet from another star system should not behave all that differently from one born around our own sun. When sunlight warms its surface, frozen material turns directly into gas in a process called sublimation, and the object brightens as its coma, its surrounding envelope of dust and gas spreads outward. So the expectation was simple, appearance and behaviour similar to ordinary long-period comets only with an unusual incoming trajectory that revealed its origin beyond our Sun's gravitational control. Placing 3i Atlas into context requires looking back at the first two recorded interstellar visitors. The first was one, I, Oumuamua, discovered in 2017. Its most striking features were its cigar-like proportions and the way its brightness flickered as if it were tumbling quickly traits that defied easy classification. Two years later came 2i Borisov. That second object looked far more ordinary, showing the same dusty coma and tail shape that defines standard comets. Astronomers called it almost textbook-like because its behaviour matched what celestial mechanics and ice physics predicted. Together, these two examples framed a spectrum. On one end, normal comet activity, and on the other, puzzling deviation. Against this background, researchers expected 3i Atlas to align more closely with Borisov than with the enigmatic Oumuamua. The mainstream view was that an interstellar comet arriving at this stage of its orbit would act like a dim, slightly hazy point of light, brightening smoothly as frozen ices escaped into space. No unusual shapes, no unexplained accelerations, and no chaotic changes in glow. It would be another demonstration that comets from different stellar nurseries share the same basic chemistry and physical response once they enter the inner solar system. With that in mind, astronomers prepared for a routine campaign of measurements, photometry, and spectrography to confirm its identity. But as early data accumulated, a problem emerged. The light curve, or record of brightness over time, showed fluctuations not expected from a simple shedding of ice particles. The consensus explanation usually attributes such changes to sublimation of water or carbon dioxide ice. Yet in this case, the shifts were sharper and more irregular than expected. Observers compared it to a traveller on a highway, who should be maintaining speed, but instead keeps braking, idling, and speeding up again. That sort of pattern does not fit well into established models of comet evolution. Even small deviations matter. Astronomers work with magnitudes, a scale where a difference of just one step corresponds to a factor of 2.5 in brightness. So when 3i Atlas veered from predictions by more than minor fractions, the community took notice. 
The uncertainty is not just about whether it appears brighter or dimmer, but what those changes imply about the way its surface is built. Patches of different ice types, crusts of dust, or even cracks exposing vents could all create jets that alter how light reflects. A working hypothesis is that fragments might already be shedding, hinting at a weaker structure than anticipated. What is clear is that the neat assumption of a quiet comet no longer holds. Instead, 3i Atlas seems to be bringing elements of both earlier interstellar cases. Borisov's cometary form mixed with Oumuamua's unexplained brightness shifts. That mixture does not sit neatly in any one category, making it especially valuable for testing models of how icy worlds survive long journeys between stars. And because these subtleties are growing more obvious while the object edges closer to the orbit of Mars, scientists recognize that its next phase may provide even more revealing evidence. Why its path near Mars raises? Questions. Why have astronomers suddenly placed so much attention on 3i Atlas as it nears the orbit of Mars? At first glance, the answer is practical. Orbital simulations show that the comet's trajectory will carry it through a zone not far from Mars's path around the Sun. Close does not mean collision or even near miss in day-to-day -day terms, but in astronomical language, it represents a research opportunity. When an interstellar object passes within the region of a planet's orbit, telescopes have both a known reference point for measurement and a favorable angle to capture its changing activity. That is why the red planet's neighborhood has become a temporary laboratory. Comets brighten and fade depending on how much frozen gas they release when warmed. Standard theory says that as three, I Atlas sweeps closer to the sun, its rising surface temperature should steadily increase that activity. Researchers planned to use the Mars crossing portion of its journey as a benchmark, a period to compare brightness measures under well understood sunlight levels. By watching how the comet reacts to these predictable conditions, they hoped to separate ordinary comet physics from traits that arise specifically because it comes from another star system. Instead, the results so far have not matched those expectations. Rather than a smooth rise in light, the object's brightness record from ground-based observatories shows sudden jumps and dips. The mainstream interpretation is that such erratic variation suggests fragmentation, small pieces of the comet breaking away, or sudden spurts of outgassing. Outgassing refers to the release of jets of vaporized ice and dust, which can occur if a crack in the surface exposes a pocket of fresh material. Each jet produces a minuscule but measurable push, known as a non-gravitational force. The consensus is that for most solar system comets, these pushes are too weak to matter much. But they can add up, creating slight shifts in trajectory that challenge precise orbital predictions. This notion recalls the debate around Oumuamua. After its passage, analysis revealed a tiny acceleration that could not be explained by gravity alone. Some argued for exotic causes, but a strong working hypothesis remains that outgassing is the simplest answer. The difference here is that 3i Atlas shows potential evidence for similar effects right in the observational record, though without the extreme oddities that made Oumuamua controversial. In contrast, Borisov behaved very stably, allowing orbital models to predict its path smoothly with little adjustment. 3i Atlas seems to fall somewhere in between, complicating the comparative picture astronomers hoped to build. So what produces these inconsistencies? One line of reasoning is that composition matters. If the comet contains a mix of ices not common to our solar system, say, higher levels of carbon monoxide or methane, then irregular bursts of sublimation would follow. A second hypothesis is structural weakness. 
fractures left by interstellar radiation could create pockets ready to crumble once exposed to sunlight. Yet another possibility is that our measurements remain too fragmentary, with gaps in the observing schedule leading to what look like irregular patterns but might smooth out with better coverage. Distinguishing between these requires more data, but for now, uncertainty remains high. The situation is a little like following tracks in fresh snow. You see the prints curve left and then right, but you never glimpse the walker who made them. From the shape of the tracks alone, you try to infer weight, stride, even intention. With three eye atlas, the tracks are the shifting light curve and the slightly altered trajectory. The task before scientists is to piece together a consistent story using only these indirect clues. As it continues past Mars's orbit, every new observation could help confirm whether we're watching a body gradually disintegrate, vent in irregular spurts, or simply follow a pattern we have yet to recognize. That is the promise in studying this object near Mars. Its changing path and behavior could reveal fresh chemical signatures and structural traits unseen in local comets. These insights, even if incomplete, offer a valuable test of how far comet models built for the solar system stretch when applied to interstellar visitors. Each irregularity expands the picture rather than closing it, reminding researchers that cosmic travelers rarely conform to simple expectations. And now, with the Mars encounter serving as a natural stage, the focus turns to what further surprises may enter the record. Conclusion The case of 3 I atlas shows how nature resists simple labels. What began as a likely faint comet has turned into a reminder that interstellar objects carry unknown histories. Astronomers cannot assume the same categories always apply. Each visitor, whether it was Oumuamua's tumbling shape, Borisov's stable coma, or now Atlas with its shifting light, becomes a single opportunity to examine how planets and comets form around distant stars. These events will not repeat. That is why upcoming survey updates matter. Following them closely connects us to a long investigation still writing itself as new data arrive.